Hello friends, let's begin with second method of solid modeling where we will study boundary representation. In this model, we will learn about boundary representation, a Euler formula, and then we will learn the merits and demerits of the boundary representation. Let's begin. Boundary representation is also called as BRIP. Definition it is defined by their enclosing surfaces or boundaries. This technique consists of the geometric information about the faces, edges, and vertices of an object with topological data on how these are connected. A BRIP model is bounded by a set of closed and oriental faces which are bounded by edges comprised of vertices. BRIP model is created using Euler operation. So there is a one object as shown in figure. There are the boundaries for that object and vertices and edges. Similarly, here also in right hand side you observe there are geometric entities, those are point, curve, line, surface, and topological entities, those are vertex edge faces. So these vertex edge faces play a very important role uh, in this B representation model. So instead of geometric entities, these vertex edges and faces makes a solid. Okay. A B rip model or boundary model is based on topological notion that an object is bounded by set of faces. So everyone remember the object in previous figure, if you observe the object is bounded by several faces. Okay, these faces are region or subset of closer and orientable surfaces. A closer surface is one that is continuous without break. So there is a continuous surface. Orientable surface is one where it is possible to distinguish two sides by using direction of surface normal to point inside or outside the solid model. Each face is bounded by edges and each edge is bounded by vertices. Only boundary surfaces of the model are stored and volumetric properties are calculated by Gauss divergence theorem, which relates the volume integral to surface integral. A BRIP model of an object consists of faces, edges, vertices, loops, and handles. So, learn about this. What is face? A face is closed or orientable or bounded by edges of a surface. Then, edge. It is a bounded curve uh, by two vertices, a finite non intersecting space curve bounded by two vertices. Okay? Vertex. A vertex is a point in E cube is a unique point and ordered a triplet in a space. Okay, it is a triplet in a space. A loop is a hole in a space that is non -in self intersecting closed space curve. A loop loop is covered. Handle handle is the through hole inside a body or solid. Genus is a topological name of number of handles or through hole in an object. Body. If an entity that has a set of faces that bound a single connected closed volume, a minimum body is a point. Think of a loop as 2D hole and a handle as a 3D through hole. DB of a boundary model contains both topology and geometry. So as shown in figure, if you observe uh, a curve and line, then there is a surface, there is a face, there are the edges and vertex. Okay, and those are separately shown in the figure. Total information of BRIP model is classified as topological, that is, the relationship between the object and geometric data, equation of the vertices, edges, and faces. Next part Euler's equation F minus E plus V minus L is equal to 2 into B minus G. 
whatever we studied f is number of faces a is number of edges v is number of vertices l is number of loops internal loops and p is number of bodies g is genus that is number of handles or through holes to create manipulate and edit primitives to ensure the validity and that is closeness no dangling faces and edges so these are the very important let's solve some problems for polyhedral l is equal to g and b is equal to 1 so loops is equal to genus is equal to 0 there are no loops thus the euler formula is simplified as f minus e plus v is equal to 2 it is a one body so 2 so f faces are 5 for polyhedron edges are 8 vertices are 5 body is 1 loop and genus is 0 so if you observe 5 minus 8 that is how much minus 3 plus v 5 minus 3 plus 5 2 so f minus e plus v is equal to 2 is simplified expanded euler law expanded euler's law for a complex polyhedrons with holes euler point care law v minus e plus f minus h plus 2p is equal to 2b where h is number of holes in a phase p is the number of passages or through holes and b is the number of separate bodies so for example in this figure there is a one body b is equal to 1 the number of passages or faces through holes there is only a through hole that is a rectangular hole on right hand side then h number of hole in faces there are three holes in faces so upper side 2 and bottom side 1 f is equal to 15 total faces are 15 edges are 36 and vertices are 24 okay so some of the simple numericals which are asked in the exam for a cube f minus e plus v is equal to 2 that is 6 faces 12 edges and 6 minus 12 and 8 vertices okay 6 minus 3 is minus 6 plus 8 Similarly, f minus e plus v is equal to 2 for this case also. And for last case, f minus e plus v minus l is equal to 2 into b minus g. Also, if you compare, we get the same equation LHS is equal to RHS. So, you will ask law for objects with curved faces and edges also, we have to apply. So, there is a silhouetal edges is considered there is a h1, h2 vertices v1 and v2 h3 is mentioned then there's a upper edge bottom edge and one is vertical edges then two vertices v1 and v2 and three faces one two and three f3 okay so b rib structure is solid then faces then number of edges then number of vertices the combinational structure of topology and matrix information of geometry merits it is a popular concept it appropriate to construct solid models of unusual shapes that are difficult to be built using primitives simple to convert a b-rip model into wireframe model less computational time to reconstruct the image demerits larger storage verbose for un input now we will see the CSG or C rip versus V rip approach that is the uh, comparison between CSG and V rip. In CSG, if you observe this approach, it's easy to create a precise solid model out of primitives. While V rip approach is useful for model the object unusual shapes and difficult to model by CSG approach. So uh, next in CSG. The database uh, contains configuration parameters of primitives and the boolean model. This requires storage space. So, uh, CSG system results in more compact 
so less storage is required because geometry is already fixed and we know that database is having uh, different size constraints so as per you required uh, we can adjust the sizes so similarly here it is a more compact file uh, of the model database while the database in brape contains explicit definition of the model boundaries so it requires more storage space and larger file need to be stored in a database in csg the approach requires more computation to reproduce the model and its images while in boundary representation approach requires less computations to reduce the model and its image in csg it is difficult to convert back and forth between uh, a constructive solid geometry and corresponding wireframe model it is totally like a creation of new model it is relatively easy to convert back and forth between a boundary and representation model and corresponding wireframe model this is due to the fact that the boundary representation definition is similar to wireframe definition this results in compatibility between the boundary representation and wireframe these are the differences of CSG and B, uh, boundary representation. Hope you understand very well. Thank you so much.